Today we're looking at items we're selling on eBay right this minute for a big profit. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at some items that I have sold in the last few days. I've just pulled some random items, not the highest, not the lowest, just a mix of items of the typical types of things that we sell in the store that we share with you. Let's hop over right now and look at some of those items. So this first item here is a piece of artwork. This is hand painted on a piece of masonite. It's been well framed in a plaster with gilt gesso over it as well. Now I had several of these. We only have a couple bucks in the initial purchase. The first one sold for just over $120. It also paid for both of them and made us over $100 profit from the first one. I just blew this one out at 80 bucks. This takes up a pretty good chunk of space. They paid shipping as well. So I really have nothing into this. This is literally all profit at this point. Artwork has been selling lately. People are home. They're able to look at what's going on. It's a good time to swap stuff out and mess around with stuff like that. Now here's a hand carved wooden bowl that was made in Japan. It's very intricate. It's got a lot of design work to it, a lot of carving in the whole works. It's made out of one solid piece of wood. I am assuming it's teak, but I cannot say for sure. This one did sell for $17.50. I paid 50 cents for this piece here. Now, most of the items I'm showing you, we buy in bulk. 85% or better of every single thing that we have or that we buy comes in bulk purchases. We try to get it cheap. We try to get small items so we can store quite a bit more than the average person. Stuff like records we can buy in big, huge bulk, sometimes five or 10,000 45s at a time. Now this is a little different. This is a sealed NOS. This is a brand new one still sealed in the plastic as it would have been issued back in the 60s. This is the Orlans. It's no big thing. Nice when it sold for $21 plus shipping. Now this is a bug sprayer. It's a vintage one. Now this is made of glass. It has a metal attachment lid, a metal sprayer nozzle, and the whole works. This one sold for $32.50 as you see it. It's been up for a little while. This is probably from the 50s or 60s. It's in excellent condition. It almost looks like it was never used. No odor, no nothing, nothing that needed to be cleaned. Just an excellent piece of vintage here. I paid a dollar for it. This was in someone's junk pile basically. Now this is a sealed item here. This is NOS New Old Stock and it is a Looney Tunes Marvin the Martian with K9, his dog. This is a coffee mug and a warmer so you can plug in the warmer to heat up the coffee. Now I paid a dollar for this at a clearance sale along with several others. They've all pretty much sold. The rest of them went up on Amazon. This one had some cracking to the plastic so I didn't want to send it into Amazon. This did sell at full price for 30 bucks plus shipping. Now, photos. I talk about photos all the time. We buy them by the hundreds or even by the thousands in some cases. These are all 8x10s. On average, we sell three or four of these every single day of the week, day in and day out, never ending. These sell for us constantly. We sell them on multiple platforms as well. This one I took $20 for. Now, 78s we sell very often. As I said, we can buy these in mass quantities. This is a brown shellac. Now, these early 78s are not vinyl. They are on shellac. Totally different substance. These are very fragile. This is Ain't She Sweet by Sam Lannon. Excellent one here. This one sold for $30 plus shipping. Now, here's a Sam Price and his Texas Bluesitions. This is a classic kind of country swing hot blues. This one here sold for $37.50, plus they paid for shipping as well. Do you dig my jive? Really nice one. Luggage labels, stickers, and such forth, we sell every day as well. Several times a day, we usually sell some sort of label or sticker. This one did sell for $34.50. It's been up for a little while. This is from Denison University. 
Universities misspelled, as you can see in there. Didn't catch it, but it's still sold. Very happy with that. I have maybe a quarter into this one, as well as several other of these pennant-shaped labels or luggage labels, I guess you could say. Shipping labels, anything transportation sells extremely well for us. Most days of the week, we sell something transportation-related as well. This is a luggage label or a poster stamp, depending on your looks on it. Sometimes you will find these on envelopes and packages as well. This is from the Peninsular and Occidental Steamship Company, P&O. This one sold for $14.50 plus shipping. It has some damages, you can see, so I'm fine with that price. Now, this is a hanging advertising sign. This would have hung in a feed store. This is very large, something you just won't see. Baker's sugar corn. This is literally advertising sugar corn seed back in the 1880s or early 1890s. Now, this has been up for a little while. It has some issues. There is some damage to the surface even. I took $50 on this. Most people aren't into corn, so to speak. So this is more of a feed advertising just something someone will usually just hang in a display area eight by tens as well here's some more this one did sell for 1850 this is james colburn as flint our man flint very good movie if you haven't seen it before now this same person bought another one and he has bought some before from our man flint as well and this one sold for 1850 to the same person also now, movie posters is another area that I can purchase in bulk. Now, hundreds of these can be purchased at the same time if you dig in and get some good contacts. These sorts of items are still out there and do turn up fairly regularly for us. This is a Walt Disney poster as well for Nikki, Wild Dog of the North. This one did sell for 45 bucks. It does have some issues where tape was at on the corners. Next one here is a die cut. This would be something that would have been hung on a wall or just for decoration back in the Victorian era. This is fairly large as well. This is of canaries in a birdcage. This sold for $75. This one I have about a dollar into. These sorts of things do show up. We do buy these in bulk as well. Many of these sorts of things I can find from scrapbookers and people along that lines. So I do sell these sorts of items fairly regularly. Again, this is a decoration that would have been mounted on a wall. I do believe there may even be a pinhole at the top from where this was tacked onto a wall back in the day. Now, costume jewelry I can buy in bulk as well, dollar or two a piece at the very most, or in some cases I can buy it in a big massive quantity by the pound. Now, there are two stones that are damaged, which is listed in here as well. This one sold for $45. Now, there's a necklace in here and a bracelet. This is the necklace, and there is a bracelet that matches this as well. So, happy with $45 on this set. More vintage jewelry. This one did sell for full price. $14.50. I have a quarter or so into this. This is around 1950s. It's cats running after a ball of yarn. Another one here. This one sold for $18.50. This is just a cheaper one. It's an original 50s. I paid 50 cents for this. Interesting pattern. It's a choker chain, choker necklace with the star mark on it. Now, you'll find that star mark on many of the 50s era pieces such as this. Now, this is another hanging item. This is an advertising piece for the light-running new home sewing machine with a Greyhound in it. Very interesting piece. This one sold for $75 as well. Very happy. I've got about a dollar into this one as well. I do buy paper just like this, as I said, in massive bulk most of the time. Now, this last item here is a brochure, which I can also buy in mass quantities. I can buy hundreds of these at the very same time in bulk, Many times, sometimes I can buy these by the pound based on the years that they are in. 30s through the 50s is usually where I buy most of this type of material. It's the heyday. Earlier than the 30s usually goes for some good money. Now this one here is a brochure as well as a timetable. Timetables do extremely well. This is a DC-7 from Delta Airlines. Excellent one. It did sell for $45 plus shipping. These are just random examples of typical things that we sell that we do get in mass quantity. All of these sorts of items can be bought in bulk all over the place this is not a regional thing we buy these from multiple states as well so these bulk purchases pretty much always make us a good return on our investment we only have to sell a couple of any of these sorts of things to pay for a big bulk purchase massive quantities so with this one here i purchased
purchased a ton of brochures. We've sold two which paid for the entire lot and made us some money back, some profit. So from this point on, I have hundreds of other ones up as well that will continue to make us a profit with no actual investment other than the few cents it costs us to list these items. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there we are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Madam Gypsy, what do you see? Nothing on an empty stomach. Your future needs flavors of fruit. My snoot knows the route. Just follow my nose. I smell fruits. It always knows. Kellogg's Fruit Loops. With natural orange, lemon, and cherry flavors. Part of this complete breakfast with a full day supply of vitamin C. Now what do you see? Another bowl. <laughs> Never before in this galaxy. Free Starbots. Star travelers you transform and put together. One free in Fruit Loops.